Hey everyone, Katherine King here, and today we're gonna go through my monthly club. So in my monthly club, this is the club that I do that, um, it, it's kind of my revolving one. I put things in, I put, you know, pull things in, put things in, pull things out, that kind of thing. Typically so that I can get my half price item, which is usually a whiff box. Now the last, I think the two, last two months, I didn't do the whiff box because I do like seeing the spoilers. I like to know what's coming. So I don't get something I'm not gonna use or I'm not gonna use often. This drawer filled with counter cleans. Cause like I said before, there are so many times I'll just go wipe down the counters and I'm like, I should have grabbed my counter clean and sprayed it down and wiped it down. And I just don't think about it. So anyway, we're gonna go through my monthly club. I did get the whiff box this month. Um, look at that beautifulness so um, in this club I threw in some bring back my bars that I wanted more of I still have the one sitting over there on my desk that I haven't put away yet so anyway um, I also like getting each month the scent of the month so the scent of the month for this month is Pacific Mist sorry I have the curtain open for some natural light I am so into this scent. I didn't order the kit. I don't order things that are typically fresh floral because um, typically they are headache inducers for me. So I will just add one to my monthly club. Um, excuse me, if you go into, you know, to, to make a club and you go to add, you can add scent of the month. So, and this is just so delightful. No, I don't have the scent notes because they're over there. It is really, really good. I only have melted the, the little scent shot, so I can't wait to get into this bar, get to melting it, see if I'm gonna pick up some more bars. Also, along with the bar, I wanted to get two scent circles. Um, I figured this is something I'm gonna start doing every single month is get my bar and get a scent circle or two, depending on if I think I'm gonna like the scent or not. So I picked up two because I knew I liked the scent. Okay, so what's in here? I wanted to pick up another mini. I'm just, I'm undecided about this. So Love and Kisses mini. Um, some people say they kind of think it has a little bit of apricot and vanilla. I can see that. Um, that one's a really light scent, so I might melt that one. And then what's the other one? Oh, Stitch 624. I love Stitch. Gosh a little bit red. Um, I love si Stitch 624. I do not like 626. 624 has been in my club now for well over a year. And as you know, the end of June, it seems like the Stitch collection is coming back. So we'll see what else comes back. I love 624. It's going to stay in my club. It's fruity and stuff. This one is really, really good. But the problem is when I warmed it, it was so light that I really didn't get to fully experience it and I think oh, I thought I had grabbed one but I don't see it over there in my stack well stacks so anyway we're going to give it another go and we're going to see what we think of that one this is only because of my wax bestie that I am trying beach so I have beach over there I believe I am just so uncertain about this but I was watching, um, oh, doggone it. Who was I watching this morning? Um, she's in Michigan. Wafting Wonderful Wax. Why can't I think of her name all of a sudden? Anyway, um, so I was watching her and she, I believe that's who I was watching. Anyway, she mixes beach with beach or with, yeah, beach daisy. So. I have a brick of Beach Daisy because I do really like that scent. It's just so insanely light. So I'm gonna mix this with Beach Daisy and we're gonna see. All right, another one. This is funny because she also didn't like this one. It's Cherry Vanilla. I don't know what it is about this scent that I like. It is very slap you in the face cherry. Uh, and I am, I am here for it, but this isn't, this is sweet cherry syrup pie filling type sweet this isn't cough syrup cherry 
which is what I cannot stand. So I, I really like it and I may put it in my club, but I'm still deciding because there's um, apple cherry strudel. Love, 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 love that scent. Doesn't last long, but it's fantastic. I love it. Um, I have maraschino sugar cookie and I also have uh, red, white and blue red, white, and blue pie, well, well, whatever that one is. Anyway, so they're all kind of cherry, so it's like, uh, which one? So anyway, um, next, I got another fuzzy fleece. I do really like fuzzy fleece. The only thing is it doesn't last long and it's insanely light. So for me, I think I'm more along the Pima Cotton line, which is in my quarterly club. Pima Cotton, I think, is more of the laundry that I might be looking for. This is pretty floral lavender, so it is nice. I hate with a passion stargazing, so I don't think it's stargazing at all. Um, so anyway, next one, my wish. I figured out that I actually like my wish. It is like a plum marshmallow. I don't smell the violet, which is really good. To me, it's just a beautiful plum marshmallow. So I am here for that one. Next one. Oh, this is not, okay. So we're done with the bring back my bars. Violet spun sugar. It's so beautiful. I love this. I have it in my quarterly. I wanted to get a couple more bars in my monthly. So I have now, now that it's processed and come and all that kind of thing, I have removed it because it is in my quarterly, but there is something about Violet Sponge Sugar. I love this scent. It is to me the most beautiful bathroom scent ever. Now my hairdresser stole this one from me and it's Blue Coconut Beach and you can't get this anymore. Um, it's from the Mother's Day collection and it's already gone. So, well, it's, you can't get it unless it's in club. So she took mine because kind of what we do is I will sometimes pay my entire haircut with bars if she liked that many or I'll use them as a tip. She took three bars, it was my tip. So, and actually I'm getting a little bit better at styling it. So tell me what you guys think about this. This is, this is kind of a new one. I, I was trying out, so I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, back to this. I like it and I really need to warm it to figure out um, my absolute opinion. I love coconut scents, so. All right, chuck that over there. Two more bars, ocean air and coconut water. Love this. It's in my quarterly club. It's not coming out of my quarterly club. It's just so beautiful. There's there's something about that one. And then my favorite of the um, Sunshine State of Mind collection was the pineapple dragon fruit. Oh, it's so fruity and good. After those two, actually, what did I have? Three fresh scents in a row. Having this really awesome fruity oh I almost dropped it on butter oh so good guys there there's something about this uh, I don't know could be honestly it could be the pineapple I love a good pineapple oh so good okay so those are the one two three ten bars yeah 10 bars that are um, I had in my club this month. Next month is probably gonna change, I don't know. One thing I've noticed is last season, so I track everything in an Excel spreadsheet. So I know what comes, what came last year during the summer. And so far they've only had the summer collection. I know summer is, technically hasn't started yet, but it has started. Um, so it makes me wonder how, if they're gonna have you know, how many collections they're going to have. I think last summer they had the summer collection plus three collections. This year they did have the bricks and this summer collection. So I guess we'll see, right? Anyway, so the whiff box. No, I don't. I make my own thumb because those come out blurry. Anyway, so whiff box. I know what's in this whiff box. I'm very excited about what's in this whiff box. 
So, and it's in the tracker for the different whiff boxes. I have this one for last year. I had it um, called the Summer Sampler. And that's exactly what I would call this month's whiff box. Is a, it's a summer sampler. Um, last month I had it Summer Collection. That's what I had it titled. That's what it was last year. Um, so this one, I think it's a summer collection. They call it um, Let's Be Adventurers which totally because it is kind of a, a traveler type box. Um, so very, very excited. So I'm thinking they must have done this kind of box last year. I'd have to go back and look at my videos or actually um, who does really good videos on that is, I, I really just seriously have no brain today. Angie Smith. Angelus, Angelus, she goes by Angela, I think, Smith. Anyway, um, she does a synopsis at the end of every year um, about the different whiff boxes, which is really fun. Anyway, okay, so this whiff box I think is fun. Now, first one out is the travel twist. I honestly could care less about the travel twist. I do still, I don't think I put them up there, no. Um, I still have some of the travel tins, my favorite being the Polar Bear Hugs travel tin. Love that one. Sometimes when I just need a little hit of Polar Bear Hugs, I just sniff on it. I have it on my desk at work. It's fantastic. But these, no matter where I seem to put them, under the bathroom, um, under the kitchen, no matter where I put them, I can't smell them. There's, there's nothing. There's no scent. It's not making that space smell any better than it did before. I, I, I might as well put in a $3 scent circle, in my opinion. I think these are pretty worthless. Uh, I, I don't know um, if they're going to get better. But anyway, let me turn this one. It smells fantastic. It's, you know, because you just turn it. I'm sure you all have seen it. Um, it smells fantastic. So this one I'm going to put in my closet. Um, up on the shelf in my closet and we'll see. I love Blue Grotto. It is one of my favorites. And actually I had to sit and pick, would I pick Blue Grotto or would I pick um, Berry? Seriously, no brain. Um, the Blueberry one. Elizabeth, Elizabeth. That's one wafting wonderful wax. It's Elizabeth. I swear. Maybe I need to drink some more water. Berry Bright. I love Berry Bright. So Berry Bright is blue raspberry, clementine, and sugar plum. No wonder I love it. Every season when it leaves, it goes in my club. I bought five, I think five of the pods. Um, one of my favorites in my car. So Blue Grotto, though, is Tropical Notes, Citrus, and Lush bot Botanicals. I don't smell Lush Botanicals. It doesn't give me a headache. So I just prefer Berry Bright. It's, it's more of my favorite. I try and already open these. There is a, another ice pack in here because they do make quite a bit of noise. Um, all right. Room Spray and Kukui and Coconut. Problem with this one? It is a massive headache inducer for me. Um, I would use these at work, but I'm worried that if they spray it at the floor, it'll create, you know, kind of that oil slick. Um, I might, you know, put a sign, hey, shake this up, point it at the air, or, you know, point it up and see, and maybe put the Kukui and coconut in the bathroom. We'll see. All right, let me take these last two things out. Now, I do scent my car. Um, with Tim is sleeping with Micah um, so I'm trying not to disturb my my and Tim's quite tired so um, anyway I do set my car with a scent circle and um, a mini fan diffuser so when I saw that we're getting this fun uh, mini fan diffuser I was like oh yeah I'm gonna change it change it out now am I a uh, animal print girl nope Nope, I I don't even think, no, nope, I don't own a single thing of animal print. If you think of it as cats, okay. So my purses 
have snake skin on them. I have um, three coach purses that have snake skin on them. Actually, one's hanging right there. Um, my husband likes to get them for me. There's something about snake skin I just really, really like. Um, so I do snake skin. Um, but anyway, isn't this just the cutest thing ever? So um, it is a, a matte finish. I just think it's so adorable. So I'm going to put it in my car. And I was watching um, Brett the other day, and he said that Brad has two fan diffusers in his car. And I thought, huh. I might just have to put two in my car. I have a little car. I have a Mazda CX-5, so it's not like it's huge, but especially in the heat, um, it's a little bit harder to scent, you know? Plus, tip. Oh, so also, you get a set of pods. Love these pods. These are currently, between this and Bonfire Beach are what I've been um, trading in and out. But the prop, oh, sorry, it's pink rhubarb sugar. It is one of my absolute favorites. So. I don't know, I don't even know where the mic, but you can hear them rattle, right? But if you leave them in your car, so either it gets so hot that it drips into your mini fan diffuser or they just clump all together and then you can't get any scent through it. So that's currently what happened to my Bonfire Beach, which kind of sucks. I don't know what took me so long to get addicted to that scent and I really, really hope that I don't burn myself out on it because I cannot get enough of that scent. In my car is just absolutely fantastic. All right, let's get into this. I know there's two bars in here. So, mango matcha, love this. So I prefer mango matcha well, way over gogo -go mango. Gogo -go mango has, I think, the hibiscus in it that um, while I like the scent, it does give me a headache. So gogo -go mango is mango, melon, hibiscus, and uh, banana flowers. So it does give me headaches. So I didn't even club any of the gogo -go mango collection. Well, one, the, the mango shortcake, it didn't smell like mango shortcake to me. So anyway, I didn't. So mango matcha though is mango nectar, matcha sorbet, which I don't, matcha is green. I don't smell green. Um, salted cucumber and pure sugar cane. And I will take anything that says it has pure sugar cane in it. So I love mango matcha. It is delicious. All right, and then the scent of the month. This is what's so exciting. And no, I don't have the scent notes. Big surprise. They sent us an entire bar of next month's set of the month. I think that's crazy. So if I like it, then I'll still get the scent of the month next month. I will probably still get um, the scent circles. Um, but I don't know. I heard it's really floral. And it is, dang it. I don't know what it is with Scentsy this year, but everything is floral. This summer is filled with florals. I don't know, I mean, it smells good, but it's it's floral. So I will, you know, do my due diligence and I will warm it and we'll see what, what I think. Um, my birthday is August 4th. Um, so I, I am, you know, an August birthday and last year it was glacial glacier mist so a fresh scent but one that I loved the year before that was vanilla blackberry one that I have absolutely loved and I have 14 bars and this is craziness I cannot get myself to warm them because I don't want to be without them I mean how stupid is that right so we shall see what comes out in August um, we always find out on the last day of the month anybody is welcome to watch our end of month lives you just have to to um, follow uh, Dan Orchard's Facebook page and uh, Metallica Metallica mom I think um, she also does the end of the month live um, on her channel which I thought was really neat so anyway so y'all can see what's coming out it's not just for consultants um, as far as Tahitian Twilight it is it's way floral it's not gonna be for me I have my one bar. I probably won't get another, but I'll probably get my scent circles. So that was a wickedly long video for a very small club. Sorry about that. I was just kind of chatty today. 
Um, so that is is what I get or got this month in my monthly cub. My whiff box, I'm very excited about. I love the items. We're gonna test that Blue Grotto Travel Twist in my closet. I know people in the past have said that they can smell the wax on me or, or you know, that kind of th stuff. And I'm like, yeah, probably. And I'm sure most of us wax addicts, people say they can smell our wax on us. Um, so we'll see if my clothes start smelling like Blue Grotto, right? Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me for a few minutes and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.